Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for August 14th, 2022. For those of you scoring at home, that is the 10th Sunday after Pentecost, and it is lovely to see you. Uh, we're continuing to do our three worship services every week, uh, three in-person worship services. We got the 8.30 indoors at Peace, the 9.30 outdoors at Nelsonville, and the uh, 10.15 indoors at Nelsonville. Uh, the outdoor service. Uh, the weather uh, that I saw looks uh, says 66 and uh, partly cloudy. Uh, so just a gorgeous uh, morning uh, and a gorgeous setting for us to gather outdoors, bring a long chair or stay in your car uh, or come to one of the indoor services. I would love to see you at any of these worship opportunities. It is a commandment of scripture that we uh, uh, don't neglect the services of God's house, uh, but that we rather uh, attend together, learn together, pray together, encourage one another, support one another, and provide a testimony to our neighbors in our actions that this is an important thing to do, that this manner of life is worth pursuing. So I look forward to seeing you in worship. Uh, for those of you who can't come uh, for reasons of health or fear or distance, uh, we do uh, put uh, the, the sermon of the day up on the internet. That uh, There's a link in the email that we send you every week, or you can find it on the website under pastor's page. Uh, and we encourage you to at least join us in that way and to be praying for us, for your pastors, for your church, for the mission of the church, uh, and for the whole Christian church on earth earth. Um, just a reminder to everybody, hospitals don't tell us if you're hospitalized anymore. You've got to tell us. You've got to let us know if you've got family or friends that are in need of prayer or visitation or care. Uh, and we are uh, honored to do that. Uh, but if you are uh, laying in your hospital bed wondering why the pastors don't care enough to come, the answer is we did not know that you were there. Uh, there's been a total sea change uh, in the relationship between hospitals and, and churches. Now, there's been a total rewriting of the rules and expectations of privacy, and we all have to adapt to the new rules. So I encourage you to get on board with that prayer list up on the top right corner of the website every week is the uh, most current prayer list available to us. Uh, if you take a look at it this week, you will see that there are two families in the immediate stages of grief. This email containing uh, these announcements uh, will go out Friday the 12th in the afternoon. If you watch it on Friday or Saturday morning, Ken's funeral is on Saturday the 13th. There's a visitation at Nelsonville from 10 to 12. The funeral service starts at 12. Then there'll be a burial in the uh, Nelsonville Church Cemetery. And then lunch, memories, uh, joys and sorrows and mutual consolation uh, back at the church, back down in the basement at Nelsonville. And so I invite you to be praying for Ken's family as they, as they grieve, as they mourn, as they commend him to God. Uh, and if it's possible for you to attend, I do invite that. Uh, we're also praying for Philip's family as they grieve, and I continue to commend them to you as well. That funeral has already happened. Judy broke her leg. We can fill you in if you want to know who that is. Uh, just call uh, the church office or call me or Pastor Gretchen and we will we will help you with that. But that's that's Gordy's daughter over on the peace side. And uh, perhaps that answers the questions that you have. There's a person recovering from surgery. Thanks be to God that surgery went very well indeed. Uh, we're still waiting for some final testing, uh, but God has been good there. And so we thank you for your prayers. Um, we're continuing to uh, pay attention to the CDC, uh, they have changed their guidelines, um, and, and I am not completely clear on, on all of the ways that those guidelines have changed, uh, but if you care, you can look that up. We do continue to post every week in our email to all members uh, the link from the CDC that shows uh, community uh, transmissibility uh, of COVID. Take a look at that. Make the best decision uh, for your health needs, for your concerns, for your sensibilities. Uh, we would love to see you. If you want to wear a mask here, you are welcome to wear a mask. No one will look sideways at you. Um, most of our people who, who don't want any part of that or who have special needs come to the outdoor service. But whatever seems right to you is exactly the right thing for you to do. Uh, and I encourage you uh, to, uh, to learn everything you can and to be faithful to your best understanding uh, of, uh, of what's going on and how we can care for our neighbors.
We're continuing to raise money uh, for Lutheran World Relief uh, for uh, the help of the refugees uh, from Ukraine. And so uh, I commend that to you. The best, fastest way to send money to a reputable partner to do real help in the world is to go to lwr.org slash Tomorrow River and uh, your gift would be welcome and it will be used immediately. They're not sitting on funds. You've heard reports in the news of some other charities uh, that are uh, building war chests and stockpiling cash and spending money on political enterprises. Lutheran World Relief does none of that uh, and the money goes uh, to the people in need. We're also working on quilts and care kits and school kits and baby kits and uh, and personal kits that go to refugees. Now there's inter introdu uh, introductions. There's instructions for how to do that on the church website top of the page look for LWR push that button and uh, you can do it a couple of different ways uh, you can buy us pieces of kits and we'll assemble them here you know you run into uh, to, to, to 400 pencils we'll take them you know or, or 50 combs we'll take them a uh, hundred towels would be fine uh, and then we'll uh, we'll build the kits around that or you can as a family or an individual you can build kits yourself just remember follow the directions exactly uh, we don't want uh, good kits bad kits big kits little kits going into refugee camps and having people uh, struggle over that we want every refugee every child every baby uh, every family to get exactly the same level of support uh, to help maintain peace and harmony in real difficult situations uh, if, if all of that just seems too much for you we will take cash I'll brave Walmart and uh, and pick stuff up uh, you know we've got we've got people who are always out looking for cloth or looking for materials uh, and we'll support them or we'll use your funds to uh, to to ship uh, these these things uh, around the world where they go you know, there's there's other announcements below uh, the ones that we've covered, but I, I think those are the critical ones. Uh, and so, oh, there's one more I should say. Now, the bishop sent us a, uh, a note uh, in the last couple of days that now her name and office are being used uh, as a uh, as a as an invite for criminals uh, to try to solicit your support. If you get an email or a text that purports to be from our bishop, Bishop Ann, saying that she is uh, in need of emergency care you should ignore it you should mark it spam you should uh, mark it phishing if your email provider will let you do that uh, and you should walk away from it as quickly as you can it is a lie uh, don't enrich criminals uh, uh, Bishop Ann is well uh, and if she were not there are other ways to take care of her I think I think that's it uh, there's other announcements below that you should read uh, things that you should remember uh, but for our purposes today I think that will do I do wish you well. I am so glad uh, to be connected in at least this way, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.